Hello, welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. <clears throat> Today I've got a journal I'd like to share with you. This is a design team project for my porch prints on Etsy. Um, if you're not familiar with her, um, her designs are gorgeous. I'm going to put a link below to Stephanie's shop so that you can check it out. I've used several um, kits within this, but the primarily um, it was the wood floral papers that I wanted to use as the, the backgrounds of this. And then, I've, like I said, I've used other uh, kits to embellish with it. The inspiration behind this journal is from my good friend Charlotte Peterson. I'm going to put Charlotte's uh, YouTube channel in the description box as well because without uh, Charlotte I would not have had, you know, I wouldn't have come up with this. Um, so thank you so much Charlotte. She's done one. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, vintage with a lot of little interesting bits of ephemera in it so do check her out um, and thank you again Charlotte for inspiring me I've been in such a slump lately um, getting back into things and that really did when I saw what she had created it really just got me going and I had to get into my space and start <laughs> now mine isn't like um, exactly like Charlotte's I ended up making like a, a bit of a cover for this just because of the shape of the envelopes of mine. It felt, I just felt like with mine, um, it needed the cover making. Now this is out of an envelope, but it was a large 9 by 12 envelope. So I had to actually cut this down because I didn't have any 9 by 6 on hand. Was That would have been perfect. So anyways, on the front, I've just put a fabric ruffle, I've got some burlap, and then vintage buttons, and then this is one of the um, elements from one of the kits from my porch print, so I'm going to put the kits that I can think of in the description box, because there's a lot, a lot of beautiful things from Stephanie's shop. Closure is sorry silk, and then as I said, on the back, um, that's some of the papers, and I think they are just beautiful, very rustic, shabby chic, so you know I love that. Okay, so inside here, I just, because I needed to cut this envelope down, I just flipped it up and made a little tuck spot here. And inside, I've just created some of um, Stephanie's beautiful prints. And as I said, these come from various uh, kits within her shop, so I will, I will just put a, a link to all of the kits that I've been using in here. So I made a little notebook there, and then this is a beautiful little journal card. And then I just put this little label in case you wanted to write the date or maybe, I don't know, something within that. And then here, um, again, this is one of the junk mailers. And the way I positioned it, you'll see there's a window on the other side. So um, that's why I thought, well, I really needed a cover for it. And then I've just created some uh, tags using lots of little pieces of um, the ephemera. And then I did a lot of collaging in here <clears throat> with some of the papers. And then, sorry, just one second, let me see. Um, with the papers, and then I've got like bits of old piano roll paper, and then just things I had left over that I've just tucked in. Here I've done a little um, glassing bag with a bit of fabric tied around there. And then I stamped and layered this tag. So there's a lot of little writing spaces, not in pages, but in tags and little booklets and things throughout. And then on this envelope, I've just added another little pocket here, and then this tag that's been hand stamped. I did some stamping on that and collaging with Edith Holton book pages and music sheets. Just anything I thought coordinated nice with it. And here's another little journal card and one of the labels from uh, Stephanie's kit. And then this envelope, I just added some more paper so that you'd have a nice writing area here. And then <clears throat> this one, you've got a big tag up here, so you've got journaling 
space there. And then another little journal card. And again, these are all from my porch prints. And then this is a little file folder, and you've got two tags that you could do some writing on as well. And that's just tucked into the pocket. Oh, I love that lavender. Gorgeous. Um, just a little snippet there. And then this is one of the um, letter, um, uh, like a business type envelope. So I've just add a little journal card in here. I don't know what it's like where you guys are at today, but oh my gosh, it's so cold here. It's the, probably the first time this year that I've been cold. <laughs> I cannot seem to get warm. So I've got my little portable heater on in the background and then the furnace on as well. Uh, here I've made a belly band uh, with one of the um, bits of ephemera, and I love that. And then this is a little postcard that you get within it. These papers are beautiful. Now these papers are the shabby rose. So like I said, I like to mix them up with the wood grain. So, And then here I've made another little journal card. That's tucked into this envelope. And I've made that so that you got an opening on each side. This was just so much fun to make. Um, <clears throat> I just don't feel like I'm ready to jump back into a large journal. <laughs> and then I keep putting it off and putting it off, and I'm thinking, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Is it ever going to be time again? Here I've done some stamping on um, muslin, and then this is two tiny envelopes that I've sandwiched together and then covered them with her papers, made a couple of pockets here and here. And so you can see just tiny little tags and then I just cut out some of the images that she's got and then in the center I've just added those little beads. Yeah it's nice it's really nice to have um, you know just a fun project to do and with not too much stress and I have just loved it. Once I got started on it I was like oh this is just just what I needed just what the doctor ordered. And another little uh, Rolodex card there, and a journal card, and then this is just a little tag I had. I love that image. Beautiful. And then here I've made another journal card, and then these are some of the tabs that you can get with, uh, she's got like an ephemera pack, and oh gosh, it's just gorgeous. I love that image. So here I've just tucked that little card in and then we've got a couple more um, cards tucked up in here and then you'll see this is one of the window envelopes <clears throat> and then another little snippet I love that button so pretty and then just more little places to journal. So even though there's no paper in this, there's still a lot of writing space. I think this would make a really nice gift for somebody maybe who um, isn't ready to commit to a, a big journal yet. You know, it's a good place to start. And you've got writing here. And then this, I've just been playing around with the envelopes and the cards, you know, that we get as packs. So I cut that um, out, layered the um, image there, did some stamping, and then over here I've just added one of her little guest checks. Now this I did size down so that I got two copies per page, and that's how they've come out that size. I love those. They're so sweet. And then a couple more tags in this pocket, and another fabric ruffle here, and then another big journal card here that I've taken some of that paper and just add a little tag to the top there. And I did some stitching around that. Oh, I meant to say there's stitching on, I think every page in here has. Um, oh, you've also got a pocket here. I forgot about that. Um, and then this was just some leftover <coughs> avocado dyed paper I had and I just thought, well, I'll just round the corners and add that. Um, and then here I've done some stamping. Um, these are also in uh, Stephanie's shop. Those are so pretty. A couple more journal cards that 
I had. Well, this one's from her, and the other one's just um, I took the image and had printed it out on cardstock, and I turned that into a little journal, journal card there. And then on this page, another little journal card tucked in there. Again, her images are beautiful. And these, I love. Use those many, many times in other projects. And that's another journal card from her shop. And then on the back here, this is a little glassine envelope, and I've just added a couple more of her tags um, that you get with the kits. So those have been tucked in, and then that's the other large junk mailer, and I just kind of collaged around that. And then on the back here, I've kept it pretty simple, just collaged it, and then added some lace here, and another little journal card there that's been stitched, and another journal card from her shop, and another piece of the avocado paper tucked in that back. So there it is, guys. That's, um, that is what has pulled me out of my slump. I'm ready now to tackle some journals. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully um, it won't take me too, too long to have some more to show you, but I did want to share that. Do check out Charlotte, Charlotte's shop. She has great tutorials on her channel, and um, do look at the envelope journal that she created because it is gorgeous. It's very different to mine because um, she worked with more uh, darker vintage colors, but I loved it. Absolutely loved it when I saw it. So I hope everybody is staying warm and safe. The weather here is awful, awful, awful. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder if it's ever going to stop raining. We're having a break from it right now, but that we've got the storm that's over here for the week. It sounds like the whole week is going to be really bad. So, yeah, it's not good, but I guess it's bad weather everywhere, so it could be a lot worse. But you guys take care, and I will see you very soon. Bye.